Hello guys, Mr. Gamer Freak 101 here today, and instead of doing a gaming video, we're actually going to be doing a PC review on the program Windows DVD Maker. And basically, if you have any WMV or AVI file, you're able to put it onto a DVD disc, which then can be played in your Xbox 360, on your PS3, on a DVD, or even back on your, onto your computer. So you could just watch it wherever you want, basically, even on a car. If it has a DVD inside your car. Alright. So you're going to look for an AVI or a WMV file. And right here I have a WMV file of Clash of the Titans 2010 film. You're going to click on Windows DVD Maker. Open it up. Double click. And up here it says Add Items. So you're going to click Add Items. You're going to search for your file. Mine's under the desktop. As you can see over here, Clash of the Titans 2010. Open it up. Down here you put your title. I'm just going to put Clash. Simple as that. Put next. And here you're able to choose the title. And it starts, it's pretty cool. Like, as you can see, there's re there's performance. It's a lot, actually. You could just keep choosing from the different types. There's highlights. You know, depending on the one that you want, there's reflections. But the one I'm going to go with is bandwidth. I think bandwidth is pretty cool, as you guys can see right here. There we go. Um, so, yeah, bandwidth is pretty cool. And it has the play button and the scenes. So, even if it's a video you made of your stuff, you can actually make it. So, it can have play and scenes and the title on the top. So, that's pretty cool, guys. So, then, once you're done with that, you could either change the menu text, customize the menu, make a slideshow, whatever you want. You can preview it. And here's going to be the preview. It, it generates a preview. And then, bam, this is how your preview is going to be before the movie actually starts. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Then, when you're done with editing it and all of that, you just put burn. Burn your CD. Should take some time depending on how big the file size is. And you're done.